Arrows, I'm Kashan and you are watching The Book Archer. Today we are going to be doing a fun tag video. We are doing the anti-TBR book tag. The anti-TBR tag was created by Cole and her books. So let's go ahead and get right into the questions. Popular book everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. The Bear and the Nightingale. I think about the premise sounds interesting to me. Nothing about the setting sounds interesting to me. Some people was like, oh, one of their favorite fantasies of this year or last year or whatever. I'm not interested. Question number two, a classic book or author you don't have an interest in reading. Maybe Charlotte Bronte? Is that who wrote Wuthering Heights? That book has a very specific tone that you're either going to love or you're going to hate. But nothing about it just makes me go, ooh, let me read that classic. Um, I don't really read many classics, but the ones that I'm interested in, I've been interested in for like quite some time. Number three, an author whose books you have no interest in reading. For this one, I am going to go with Holly Black. I tried to read a book by Holly Black years ago. I think it was The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, and I ended up DNFing it. Everybody loves the Cruel Prince trilogy, and they always rave and rave about it, but I don't ever, ever feel compelled to pick it up which, which lets me know how uninterested I am in reading books by Holly Black. The next one says a problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading. Honestly I have no idea. I honestly don't keep up with authors habits a lot and I'm really hardly ever on Twitter and I know that's where a lot of people expose themselves for all the foolery that they do. Wait a minute I will say that I did have a book by Jessica Clueless on my shelf and I had already DNF'd it and was trying to decide if I was going to try it again because it was so mediocre. And then I saw that she had like really, really, really showed out to the 10th degree on Twitter. So I was even more motivated to just go ahead and get rid of that book. So I will say Jessica Clueless, even though I don't know if she would be considered a popular author. Number four. An author you have read a couple of books from and have decided their books are not for you. I think an author that I have decided isn't for me is Renee Adier. Renee Adier's books have the best premises. Everything about all the books that she writes sounds so interesting to me. And they all have been a variety of topics, of locations. Um, and they're all either like fantasy or historical fantasy or just so many things that I love. But every time like when I read books by her, I'm constantly so disappointed with the actual execution. And then every time she puts out a new series, the constant criticism is that the execution is lacking. So I just don't trust reading her books anymore because even if I get hype up about them, they have not lived up to the hype yet. Next question is a genre you have no interest in or a genre you tried to get into and couldn't. The genre that I have negative zero interest in, okay, don't ask me about it, don't suggest it to me, it ain't gonna happen, is horror. There is nothing in me that makes me want to not only, you go from like mystery, which okay, cool, I can do mystery. Thriller, you pushing it, but I'm willing to try it. Horror? It's not happening. I'm too scary. Like, I don't want to be scared while I'm reading. That is not fun to me. That is not enjoyable. As someone who reads, like, early in the morning, right before I'm about to leave the house, and then, like, late at night when it's extra dark, I don't want to be scared. I don't want to be scared right before I go out into the real world of already crazy crazies, and I don't want to be scared when I'm in the comfort of my home trying to read for enjoyment <laughs> so yeah no the horror genre is not for me don't suggest no horror to me and i don't like to be freaked out and i just feel like horror probably has like all this nasty like weird stuff in there like just no nothing about horror appears appeals to me at all which is so ironic because i do watch some booktubers and channels that read horror regularly and i like hearing like their reviews and their insights on books and i know i'm never gonna read them but i still watch them anyway but yeah Nah, don't, don't bring horror to my doorstep. A book you have bought but will never read. This can be a book you have unhauled or returned to the library unread. Every single book that I buy, I have intentions of reading it. And if I ever unhaul something, then it's either because I got it as an ARC unsolicited or I tried to read it and DNF'd it. As far as like a book that I bought or owned that I don't want to read, I have no idea what the answer would even be for this. Just watch that entire unhaul video because I got rid of a ton of y'all favorite books. Number seven, a series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and have DNF'd. Funnily enough, I just posted a video about the series that I will not be continuing on that I DNF'd. A series that I have no interest in picking up. As of right now, 
the poppy war by i don't even know who is by because i'm not that interested in the series everybody is talking about it right now the last book in the trilogy just came out people are crying in their videos people on instagram are gasping writing these long captions i mean it's like next level but whenever i hear about that book or the premise of it or see it it's not triggering anything in me that's like ooh, i need to read that will i ever read it just nothing drawing to me to it so that is when a series that I just don't really see myself picking up. And then finally, a new release you have no interest in reading. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Y'all, I am so tired of y'all talking about that book. Oh my goodness. Every time I see somebody talk about that book, I swear I just fast forward past the video. I don't want to hear about The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue anymore. When I first heard the premise of the book, I was like, ooh, that sounds very intriguing. But then the hype for the last, I don't even know, year and a half, two years, it has just been so much. It's something that I'm just like, it's above me now. It put it on hold at the library. And I was still thinking, oh, I might check this out. And once it became available to me, I just told them like, go on to the next person. We'll see how I'm feeling once y'all quit beating it over my head so that is all of the questions if there are any other tags that y'all want me to do then leave these suggestions for those tags below and if you made it to the end of this video what emoji do we want to do leave the fire emoji if you made it to the end of this video don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram at the book archer and i will see y'all in another video bye